I just want to start off by saying that if you've watched any of my videos that I've done tonight, then you know that I sound like a, as my husband says, 12-year-old boy. So I'm going to apologize if you haven't watched any of them. Um, I haven't been feeling very good and I have five kids that I have to try and talk over all day. So my voice is a little worn out. So one of the things that bothers me the most when I see white in an image, especially if it's a dress or a piece of clothing that I know needs to be white, is when I can see blue shadows. Now this doesn't normally happen if you have properly exposed but I know how difficult it can be. Um, it also happens if you have a black and white subject so you know a bride and a groom it's hard to expose properly for both of those. So you can start by increasing your exposure for this which will help a little bit but Another way to do this is, I've actually taken my image and increased the blues so that you can see it a little bit. Now, some of you may be asking, where is this blue? And here is one area. And if you really look, you can kind of see it in the shadows and folds of her scarf. It's not that big of a deal, it's just one of those things that drives me insane. So here is before I increased it and here is after it's not a big deal but this is also not an image that I've edited so I haven't taken them out yet now I do have some actions that will help me with this but to show a hand edit a hand edit I'm sorry I like to click on my hue and saturation button or you can come down here to your adjustment button and do the same thing and if you click this little hand and you click on the color that you're wanting to get rid of it'll tell you right here what color it is now, I'm going to reset this so you can watch it change click the hand it starts out at master click the color you don't want and it changes it for you you can also click and hold and drag to the left and it'll turn your saturation down or you can turn it up and this will really show you where all the blues are in my image obviously I don't want this and I don't want it that high so I'm going to turn it all the way to negative 100 for me this is perfect but I want to kind of click around and see if there's any other colors because as you can see there's also red so I'm going to click and drag and it also found magenta now, my image looks totally screwed up. Obviously, I don't want it to look like this. So, to get this to change from white to black, which will reverse everything I just did while still keeping my, ch my changes, on a PC, I don't know what it is on a Mac, if you push Control i it will invert. So, basically what it did was, my changes are still there, it's just hidden under this black box. So now all you do is come over and get your brush. Keep it at normal on 100%. And since this is black, you want a white brush. And all you have to do is come in and paint on the areas where you don't want the color. I'm going to do this quick, so forgive me if it looks crappy. before and after. Not a big deal like I said most people don't even notice this it doesn't necessarily ruin an image in most cases however when I see a bride in a white wedding dress I really want to see a bride in a white wedding dress not white and blue and I know a lot of people like to wear white shirts for photo shoots which drives me insane because it's extremely hard to photograph but if you run into this problem and you can't figure out why it may look a little wonky this may help you a little bit so leave me a comment if this helped you leave me a comment if it didn't help you and if you have any other suggestions that maybe would be easier and maybe you could teach me a different way then let me know